Hey, you're watching Fat Man, you dingus. Whatever he said. It's your boy, Fat Man. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching and tuning in again. One more It's a Gundam. Uh, this is from last year, but I didn't talk about it and I didn't know how to approach it. But we have a future video and we're going to talk about the leaks. Spoiler alert for anything out there. <clears throat> Wolverine leaks exposed gaming journalism soy biased. Uh, honestly, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what he's talking about when he says bias. I think I do know what he's talking about, but let's tune in. Shouts is a Gundam! Let's go. The gaming community needs to be better about building the community it's in. Yes. And I can't agree with that enough. If you know anything about Greg Miller and Kind of Funny, being better is a big part of what we always talk about. It's be better to each other and don't be a jerk. And I know right now, on our very own Twitch page, mm -hmm. right here, a bunch of people are being jerks. And everybody who's a good person, which is the majority of gamers, need to step up, ladies and gentlemen, and of course show that the positive outshines the negative. That's my rant. Goodbye on that Thank one. Thank you. He's gay! And listen, I love Greg Miller because he is a cancer survivor. He he was on IGN for the longest. He survived cancer. He, you know, his life should be changed. Except he booted his own friend, Colin Moriarty, when Colin created a fucking tweet. And this is the tweet he said when, uh, I think, Women's Day came around. And he was just fucking with his girlfriend. Him and his girlfriend had the same sense of humor. And I'm like, nigga, shit failed to hit the fucking floor. But I remember that speech and it was just weird. Like, yeah, be better. But gaming, it's a man's game. I ain't gonna lie to you. And if you ain't a part of the boys club, good luck. And it's there's certain sections of that. There's quiet gaming categories in that area. Like there's the quiet club, there's the chill club, there's the fuck around and find out club, and there's just gamers. It's a Gundam! Gaming journalism is a dying medium centered on emotional or political bias, rarely ever posting anything gamers actually want to check their site out for. On December 12th, hackers demanded $2 million from Insomniac Games, or else they'd leak Wolverine. I guess Insomniac called their bluff, and the leaks dropped today, or yesterday. I That's crazy, because I said this. I said, I think somebody at Insomniac sent out files and saved everything on, like, big-ass hard drives and told somebody, yo, we can get some money out of this. Do this, this, and this. Because they got hacked like this. Because this is like... This is the almost the same as The Last of Us 2 leaks, which exposed Joel dying, and you couldn't kill Abby, and you had to use... You had to fight um, Ellie as Abby, but you wanted to be Ellie to kill Abby, but you couldn't kill her, and they didn't kill her in the game. Like People were pissed, and those leaks were 100% real. I don't really know. I was painting tiny robots. <laughs> My first impressions of the leak were not great. I understand it's an alpha. Can't show you anything because Sony's being a little bitch right now. It's mm -hmm. your standard fare over the shoulder action game made popular yeah. by Resident Evil 4, then God burned into the mind of Zoomers with the God of War reboot series mm -hmm. that the creator himself didn't like. And then people on Twitter who love Sony and everything they do told him to go bubble himself. One of the leaked videos I saw had a stage where I guess you played as Dream Gray and Emma Frost. Because that's exactly what I want in a Wolverine, Wolverine game. game. I want to play Jean Grey. Gray. And frankly, and not after Spider-Man 2's horrible writing, I have zero faith in Insomniac. There's a reason why Spider-Man 2 didn't win Game of the Year. Because it really wasn't. Future Marvel. Games. It was a. I loved Spider Man 2 for just being Spider Man 2. It just wasn't going to win Game of the Year. Just was not going to do that. And I even. I didn't vote for it because I didn't like the story, the writing. I didn't like the characters. I didn't like apologizing to Mary Jane fucking Watson when she became Shriek. Get the fuck out of here. Or Screech. Scream, scream. Sorry. Games as far as 2030 were also in the leaks. Jesus Christ, Sony is trying to pull an MCU with the PlayStation brand. They've We're been trying to do that. A roadmap that's lasting over a decade. And let's be real here, an Insomniac X-Men game would be totally cringeworthy as far as writing goes. Yeah, I wouldn't be the shocked was bad. if modern- The first Spider-Man game did okay because it was a lot of fanfare and all you wanted was Peter Parker. Miles Morales was I, but all you had was like, 
Manhattan and that's it. But no Peter Parker. When I got back into Spider-Man 2, I was, nigga, I just wanted, wanted to play as Peter. I love Miles, but I already had fun with you and I already know all your moves. I know everything about you, nigga. Same thing with Peter. I just wanted to get back into Spider-Man with Peter Parker. Now Insomniac is like, well, Peter, uh, Miles is the only Spider-Man. I was like, no, because then you guys introduced, spoiler, they introduced Silk at the end of the game. Cindy Moon. So I'm like, Spider-Woman? Insomniac didn't run with the Wolverine, Cyclops, and Jean Grey being in a polyamorous relationship storyline, dude. Like, yeah. I, I wouldn't put it past them. They made Black Cat <laughs> a bisexual nice. chick. Which was weird. In the Spider-Man game. And she's fighting to save her girlfriend in France. Then you had like the gay what? prom one. I I, I I plugged out. I was like, I'm done. You couldn't even leave the. It's like, what are you doing, Insomniac? Yeah. That gay prom one was kind of weird. I was like, this is just weird. Like, I I do not relate to this whatsoever. And this is so corny, especially for gay niggas. This is gay. Like, I think I showed this. I showed to somebody, and they were like, yo, this is gay, gay. And that person was gay. And I was like, what? I was like, this is the gayest shit I've ever seen in my life. This is too corny. Just ask them the prom. Like, oh my god. You're sucking. That's what you Look what the homosexuals have done to me. Oh, and Mary Jane is John Wick in the guy. She, oh, yo, she was like, I got training for Silver Sable, but she pulled up the same fucking move set. And I was like, there is no, and she was going up against motherfucking Craven the Hunter's men. That made no sense. These niggas are trained by the world's greatest, he was the world's greatest hunter. And you're telling me these men can be beaten by a woman that's got less than a little bit of training from Silver Sable? <sighs> Get the fuck out of here. Guy, the, the director was like, eh, we're making Mary Jane the hero she is. She's yeah, not a hero. She's okay. One shot, everybody. Yeah. She's okay. I knew that those missions weren't the fan favorites um, coming out of Spider-Man 1. We knew we had to make her more of a proactive, capable person. And if she's a little OP, I don't give a shit. It's important to have her be a capable hero. You know, this might sound cliche or whatever. <sighs> Cheesy, but like, you don't need to have powers to be a hero. Yes, you do. Because it's Spider-Man. All, most of his fucking villains have some type of abilities. Most of the people that join him have some type of powers. Unless you're Daredevil. Then, then you're a fucking blind ninja. Oh my God. It's like saying Aunt May can be a hero when the bitch can't be a hero. It's weird. And only thing is, these hunters weren't these hunters are skilled enough to fight Spider-Man. They can take they can take almost seven, eight punches to the face and slam it to the ground, but one shot by Mary Jane. Nigga, what are you talking? Get the fuck fucking punch you in your face, nigga. You piss me off, bro. Magic. Insomniac Cyber Breach reveals X-Men game exclusivity on PlayStation throughout 2030. Oddly enough, the Insomniac leaks split gaming journalism in two. Normally, they're united in any politically correct cause. But maybe this is more about access rather than anything else. Kotaku and Polygon covered the leaks while Greg Miller and Kinda Funny took an odd stance on the leak. Where was this energy for the GTA 6 leaks? This insomniac leak is an invasion of privacy done on a massive scale. Nigga, invasion of privacy? Yeah, I didn't say that about Naughty Dog. Shut the fuck up. That's why today we will not be reporting on the details of the leak. Instead, we're discussing how this affects people working on your favorite games. Hello, everyone. It's me, Greg Miller from Kind of Funny Games. And if you didn't know, Insomniac was held ransom. Uh, by some ha uh, cyber hackers, the types, you know what I mean, uh, saying that they wanted $2 million or they'd release a whole bunch of Insomniac uh, files. And it's blackmail, yes, but honestly, that's the gaming industry. Like, you're going to have files. I swear to you, somebody that worked for them was like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm trying to get my money and be out. They did that. Insomniac did not give them the money. They released, the hackers released the files. And now the... I love the hackers. They were like, you think we play him? <laughs> Niggas was like, the niggas was like this. They were like, you think we playing? You think I'm a game? Leak, bitch. And then they were like, plow, motherfucker. 
The internet is in flames as uh, all sorts of information about Wolverine, that. Insomniac, personal data of the developers, and so much more is floating around. There's no personal data. Do I don't know about the personal data part. I don't think that's true. I've seen some of the gameplay and I'm like, this is beta. It's not a perfection, but we've seen this coming. A giant conversation about how this should be handled in Oof. reporting video game news. Uh, I wanted to come to you and talk to you about how we'll approach it on Kind of Funny Games Daily today. Uh, today, we will not go into the details of this leak. We will instead talk about the human component. Uh, all the developers... Shut the fuck up, Greg. Shut the fuck up, nigga. What are you talking about, my nigga? What are you talk? What human component? They got hacked. They didn't pay some money and they got fucking hacked. That's the game. Deal with it. Talk about the leaks. They look pretty aight. It could be better. The whole fucking project could be better. Stop get the fuck out of here, man. For his ad insomniac who just had years and years of work published when it was not oh well, seen. Oh well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That happens. I said the same shit with Naughty Dog. It's gonna happen. Somebody was disgruntled and pissed the fuck off. There's no way, there's no way hackers were just able to get in this. Somebody gave some info, somebody snitched, somebody was like, I'm tired and want to get paid, and they let the niggas know, and eventually Insomniac was like, we're going to have an internal investigation, and the nigga who leaked it that works for them was like, shit, I wanted my money, and they didn't get their money. So honestly, they pressed that red button, and they leaked it. I've seen some of the gameplay. It's I. It could be better. It could be way fucking better than uh, Spider-Man 2. It could be way better. But they're choosing to be, ah. ...published when it was not ready to be seen. Contracts published when they were not. Wow, what a waste. Waste. The poor children. Children. This you? Number one, the continuing saga. Damn. Grand Theft Auto 6. Damn. Did he say this you? Hold on. Wow, what a waste. The poor children. This you? This you is crazy. Number one, the continuing saga of Grand Theft Auto 6. If you were under a rock all weekend, maybe offline, maybe you missed it, Grand Theft Auto 6 did in fact leak a whole bunch of footage from it, a whole bunch of information, and now we are dealing with the fallout. Oh my. Wow. You guys so when it comes to Grand Theft Auto, you're leaking it, but when it comes to like Insomniac and Marvel, you're not. So what's wrong with Rocksteady's leaks compared to Insomniac? What's the difference? You picking and choosing sides, my nigga. Like, come on, bro. You seem like a, that's a bitch thing to do. You picking and choosing sides. You look like a bitch. Come on, my nigga. It don't make sense. You want to be all, oh, you know, this is a personal thing. But with Rocksteady, you were like, oh, look at these leaks. <laughs> all right. Covered the Capcom leaks and detailed the information in said leak. Personal info was leaked then. So what makes it different today? It's exactly. Capcom devs probably won't be tweeting about it. But you're quick to speak on the Xbox leaks. What's the difference? So mm -hmm. only when it's PlayStation you choose not to cover. Greg, a PlayStation dick sucker. I love PlayStation, but I'm not gonna... Because PlayStation pay them niggas. Pay, PlayStation is... He's in PlayStation's pocket. That's why. Massive, massive L. Now I want you to keep in mind that Greg Miller has a podcast called P.S. I Love You. Jesus Christ. Man could drop on his knees and blow a console. Greg Miller would give the PlayStation the sloppiest topping. I'm also sure that Kind of Funny gets a lot of exclusive access with PlayStation. And they get to work with Sony on projects despite having numbers on YouTube that are almost as bad as G4. Mm. I'm not even joking. How Kind of Funny still exists with this type of footprint is ridiculous. Right. True. Let's do this one last time. My name's Greg Miller. And I had a dream to review video games. For 17 years, I've been the one and only Buffalo Wing loving man to do it at both IGN and Kind of Funny. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. I reviewed a bunch of video games, one game a week that I loved, podcasted about PlayStation, and then podcasted about PlayStation again, and again, and again, and again, and uh, I did this. That was the birth of Shirtless Spider-Man. From there, he became a Twitter sensation, an anime introduction, a page in the Spider-Verse art book, but most importantly, snuck his way into Marvel Spider-Man on PS4 because Insomniac thought the bit was so funny. So imagine my honor that after Kind of Funny introduced Shirtless it was It was just a Shirtless Spider-Man. Come on, bro. With Miles Morales, Insomniac thought it was so endearing they put both the spider bros in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Once you've eh. the photo ops from Robbie Robertson, swing over to the Upper East Side. You'll 
eventually find the kind of fanboys posing for the camera, just like Bless and I have in the past. So snap pics with us and send them our way on social media. Bye. We're in. I didn't really care about that because I was like, cool, it's Greg Miller and a black guy. Okay. Ow! Greg Miller over here hyping himself up like Dark Side fell when he hit Masters and Street Fighter. And nobody heard about this Twitter sensation of him taking off his damn shirt again. I did not. I do not understand the mindset where a man has literal tits and he has no problem showing them to the world repeatedly. Look at me. I eat like trash. And the heaviest thing I pick up is a grocery bag. It's toxic. Kind of funny, legit said, leave Insomniac alone. Stop like, sick. Insomniac was a very good friend they always knew. Mm -hmm. And frankly, that's the long and the short of it. Many of these journalists don't mind covering leaks till... Mm-hmm. So I'm telling you. Sony. Years ago, I would have just called this Sony bias or, you know, Sony pony True. stuff or something. But now I see it for what it is. It's all just business. Kotaku has nothing to lose since every major game publisher has pretty much blacklisted them. But if Kotaku yeah. is going to get some exclusive access to the Wolverine game demo before anyone else, that would have made a world of difference. They wouldn't have posted anything about the leaks. Another perfect example of VGC covering, oh my God, so many leaks, it's not even funny. Like, look at all of these leaks with the Insomniac Sony leak. It should go without saying, but VGC won't be reporting specifically on any of the stolen assets in the Insomniac hack. Can you imagine how many lives this is going to be saving? This is a leak, and people's personal information is included in the breach. Feel for Insomniac today. As stated before, these sort of things have happened to game developers, but all of a sudden the energy just changed when it came to Insomniac and Sony. Now it's very weird the way they feel about it. It's like, oh, well this happened because people's personal information is out there. I'm like, this has happened before. What the fuck are you talking about? Y'all niggas is dumb. Y'all niggas just thought this was something new. Me Kyle weighed in, and she hasn't been relevant in the gaming sphere in literally a decade or more. Who? Stop reporting leaks. And then of course, Twitter dragged her ass down the street. Oh, the hypocrisy. <laughs> another day, another destiny leak. Ooh. Here's the latest episode of Last Week in Gaming. Harry Potter game leaks, Nintendo Switch changes, the Mega Man movie. Give it a watch, like, comment, and subscribe. If you look at her profile, you see uh, she was part of the strike that no normal person gave a flip about. And her pinned tweet shows you that she can be hired for a hosting gigs. Oh yeah, background came back and the money kind of went up depending on the shoot. So it went up depending on the shoot, so yeah. You might look at this and say, so what? I look at this and say, she's looking for work and wants to stay on Sony's good side. Who the mm -hmm. hell pins a tweet that they joined a talent agency and you can book them to host shows? Somebody looking for work. She wants you to see that first and foremost. Also, it seems that IGN doesn't see her sentiment about not reporting on leaks. The Insomniac data breach has revealed Sony has signed a deal with Marvel to make an exclusive X-Men game until the end of 2035. There's a bit more back and forth between journalists and game developers swinging on either side of the pendulum. And I'm not gonna bother looking for them for you because really it doesn't matter. But here's something I think is a bit more substantial that we need to pay attention to that the niche game recovered, thank God they did. Chief among the leaks is the internal presentation that reveals not only is Sony planning on increasing game prices again from $70 to around $80 to $100. They're planning on releasing the next Spider-Man game in three parts, $50 each. What? Nigga, no. Even with AAA games rising in prices across the board to a new $70. Bro, $70 is crazy. I was fine with games for like 60. Games used to be $50, $50 almost like, like $49.99. Now games are $59.99. Now you trying to make game. Now games are like seventy dollars, and you're trying to boost it up. Don't make a nigga start stealing. Dollar standard. Sony is planning to release Spider-Man three in three parts, two parts of the main game with what? a multiplayer separate game for a grand total what? of one hundred fifty dollars. What? All these leaks total around to one point seven terabytes of confidential data, and mostly only related to Insomniac's own titles. It gives insight into Sony's potential plans for all PlayStation games moving forward. That's something that I feel needs to be reported on. That they yes. clearly have a plan to increase the prices of console gaming. Now, the federal government is looking to reduce interest rates starting next year. 
around three times in 2024. I don't know if there'll be any more after that. But mm. even in light of the fact that interest rates will be lowered, Sony is planning to jack the prices higher. This is a sad part of the whole recession and everything being so expensive. Once these companies realize they can charge you more for things, they never go back, even if it makes it cheaper for them. And I'm sure you could sit there and say, well, they're going to spend more money to make more games. Do, is that really necessary? Is no. it really necessary to spend more money to make the Spider-Man game than it costs to make the Spider-Man movie? When yeah. the writing is worse than the Spider-Man movie. I don't know. But I tell you this, I'm probably quitting console gaming. I, I know, like, buying a PC for gaming is expensive, but you pay the initial cost up front, and then later on you save money. That's how you win in life. You pay more up front, pay less later. You don't pay less up front and then pay more collectively over time. Yeah, that don't really make sense. That don't. That's how you end up in DSPville. Honestly, Gundam right. Listen, I have a PC. I built it. I haven't uploaded the video yet, and I'm still trying to find out how to edit this. But I built this PC. I will not be playing fucking games on it, though. Except a couple of friends are like, hey, can we play some games on this? I was like, okay, I will, I will humor you to play some games on this. But regardless of the games to play on this PC, that just is what it is. I'm, not, I'm still a console gamer, but I'm not respecting the fact that Sony is trying to fucking hike up the prices of video games. I'll wait until that bitch is on the dollar shelf or it's less money than it was in the next couple of years. I will wait. I will wait and pay less fucking money for a game. I will fucking wait. Try a nigga. Oh, the game came out. It's $70. Cool. I'm going to wait for that shit to be 44 bucks. In the next upcoming three years, because I'm not paying full fucking price. You thought I was dumb? No. Fuck is you talking about? Take that shit and shove it. These leaks to me, as a, as a gamer, it happens. It's part of the fucking business. It's part of the shit. And leaks have happened before. But the fact that we're looking at it and saying, oh, no, this is so sad. Shut the fuck up. I don't work for Insomniac. And listen, I want to be a dude that can work with gaming companies and other people, but we need to be honest, this happens. We can't just keep being like, well, playing favoritism because that's how you get really looked at as a fake person. It is. Greg Miller, to me, looks fake for that. A lot of people look fake for it. IGN are talking about the leaks and it's okay. But the fact that IGN is talking about them means everything because IGN needs to stay in business. They can't go like Machinima. Is what it is. This is your boy Fat Man. Once again, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell, comment, notify. And shouts, to it's a Gundam. And check him out. And honestly, I love these Wolverine leaks. They look I because they're just beta. But the bad part is this is what we're getting. And if I could show some of the video footage, I would. But, you know, YouTube and Sony and bullshit. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace and I'm out. Shit. Get bit on drum. Get bit on drum. You real you know niggas gonna stop acting like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you one. niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't talking about the contract. We ain't right. right. loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, yeah, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden